Both sides here are holding their lines. Both seem equally frustrated. The police advance has grown to a halt halfway across this square beneath the independence column. The notorious Berkut are well armed, but apparently awaiting orders. Unsure what to do next beyond this. We filmed them making their own Molotov cocktails using what were the protesters' banners. Taking turns to run forward and take their shot. The protesters are goading them. Watch this man as he makes a run for it into no man's land. He's trying to reach their fire hose. It's a dangerous game with inevitable results. The police are firing tear gas now towards the protesters' lines. The two sides just metres apart. The police pushing forward there. The protesters are behind homemade shields. They are moving into no man's land. The police returning with stun grenades there, trying to push them back as the protesters seem to be attempting to move forwards towards the police lines. This is what it looks like from the protesters' side. Taking turns to throw rocks. Someone's rigged up a catapult. Yes. Their defences are makeshift and still being built. Anything and everything being torn down and sent to the front. A trolley full of Molotov cocktails being unloaded at the side. The harder core are up at the barricades, but there are many more working behind. Breaking up the pavement here beneath their feet for bricks to be thrown at police. These women loading them onto carts to be sent up the line. The volunteers' medical centre was burned out last night. They had to evacuate with their patients to the Mikhailovsky Cathedral, seeking refuge in the walls of this church. It was uh, like real war, with uh, people, uh, people shooting uh, by um, real guns and uh, terrible... Uh, it was terrible. Outside, as the bells sound, people are coming with donations. Food, medicine, blankets, clothes, whatever they can offer to the cause. Destiny is to be here, so we are all destined to be here. And when you come here, you are giving some help and you give hope to the, these hopeless people who uh, had died and got, got hurt for our country. Tonight, beyond the rubble in Independence Square, they're singing the national anthem. Tomorrow will be a day of mourning here to remember those they've lost.